James Wagner here with 900 Global coming to you from KC Bowl inside Arsenal Pro Shop. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about the new products coming uh, August 28th uh, is the release date. Um, this is the five ball selection that's coming out. Welcome to the revolution. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the afterburner. Uh, this is a new ball. Um, in my mind it's a new line. It's it's going to be stronger than the After Dark, um, but it's going to be weaker uh, than the Ordnance and Ordnance Pearl. Um, the only thing I can really compare it to that I've seen is a High Road, High Road Pearl, you know, somewhere in that line. Uh, this is going to have the Ignition Symmetric Core uh, S62 Hybrid Cover Stock. Um, both balls have the same cover but it's a different combination. Uh, the blue-black is a black solid with a blue pearl. Uh, the purple is a purple solid with black pearl. Um, Number-wise, you're going to be looking at 255 RG, 0.038 differential for a 15. Um, this is going to be a sleeper uh, within the, the new releases. I think everybody's going to be real happy with this. Uh, the blue-black is drilled 50 by 5 by 30. The purple is going to be an a experiment for me. Uh, 45 by 2 by 45. Um, this one I'm looking at going to be more for dry lanes uh, to where I can move right, stay up the back of it, and it's not going to overreact. Um, the blue-black, from what I've seen so far, um, makes a real nice motion off the back end. Um, so this one I, I really like. Um, if I can get it done, um, again, as I said in, in a previous video, uh, this is going to be a, a new style of video for me, so I'm going to try to get some comparisons done. Um, I brought my Badger Hybrid uh, to show the difference you know, between those, most likely it's going to be closer to the blue-black um, with the Badger. So, let's hit the lanes and uh, see where we're at. All right, everyone. He's back. Brian Ragland with 900 Global Regional Staff Member, James Wagner. I couldn't think of a good nickname. As he's getting ready to throw the uh, two-inch afterburner to start with. Blue-black. Oh, the blue-black, I'm sorry. Already through the practices, we've already been able to tell what each one's going to do with the, what'd you say, five-inch pin with the blue-black? Yes. So you're looking at a five-inch and a two-inch pin. On a side note, Get rain this morning. The conditioner was not on. Approaches are a little tacky, yeah. so about two inches of rain in about four hours. No ventilation through the AC with the uh, old Brunswick style lanes, so just a little tacky. That's the blue black and that five inch pin, and that's the hybrid, correct? Yes, that is the hybrid. And that being the hybrid, at least for me, when you hit a pearl, it's definitely going to come off the spot hard. And your rev rate a lot higher than mine. That almost looked like it was going to hold for a second, but it didn't. Try throwing the uh, two inch pin now. As if he can stand up. What's, what's the board difference between the two that you have? Sorry? What's the board difference between the two that you have? Normally, uh, when I got them on Wednesday, I threw a couple of practice games. 
I was about seven boards different. Seven. Seven right with the purple. Yeah. You see this one a lot nicer off the spot. It still goes nine. Came around it because that's stuck, but the ball still held. Uh, again, this is the purple, uh, purple solid black, um, black hand, or black pearl mix. So it's not as jumpy off off of the spot. As the, especially, uh, especially being the two inch pin on top of it. Correct. I told James when he was warming up, I think this ball is going to be a ball that gets him out of a lot of trouble when they're really hooking. That's money. Now throw the throw the blue black in comparison off that shot. Try to get your hand in it? Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't thrown in a while, so I don't know what it's going to do. You end up going back and grabbing the Badger, being a polished hybrid. Now, throw that again and try to keep your hand up the back of it, if possible. See if you can get it to to settle down on the back end a little bit. That moved. Yes, it did. Moved a lot. Well, you just moved your target right, didn't you? A little bit. Moved up a little bit, slowed my feet down. Moved my target right. And gave it more angle. That ball reminds me, believe it or not, of the, of the uh, boost. The hybrid boost. And these are fresh run? Yes. Uh, they ran them last night, so they said yeah, overnight. Said overnight, but you still have fresh back in, so they're going to be crisp. So this is a comparison with the uh, Badger on this shot. So the afterburner looked like it was definitely more back in. Yes. Than the Badger. Uh, the Badger has a little bit different drill on it. Um, I don't remember the numbers. As soon as it comes back. But just, just the pin you. placement. Yeah. Where the pin on the blue afterburner is directly over the fingers, and that one's just about two o'clock on the. Really can't see, but it's two o'clock on the finger. So you're looking inch, inch and a half difference. Plus you have a little bit of a worn cover on it. But it's definitely softer off the spot. This is the Badger again. Let me get that one in. Pulled it. Dude. You can still tell the, the difference yeah, on the reaction. Now, now throw the uh, blue one again real quick. Throw like one more shot with each of them. Now, I, I made the comment that red one with that two inch pin is going to get you out of a lot of trouble. Do you think that way too? Yes. That was, that was kind of the reason behind it. Say it again? That was kind of the reason behind drilling it this way is um, on drier conditions, front and back, I kind of have a, an issue trying to find a ball to actually 
sit Stay down. Stay on the right side of the head pin. Lay down a little bit, just keep control. Wow. That thing is sitting that hard, being that controlled off the back end. That's nice. Yeah. Now see if you can get a good one with the blue one. go that is the new afterburners and we'll close it up here in a second all right everyone Ryan Ragland along with James Wagner the 900 global regional staff member afterburner and uh, I'm liking this one I'm liking the two-inch pin uh, this one is a monster with the uh, five-inch pin uh, this reminds me of the hybrid boost a lot the way I throw it is long and trim on the back end. This one here, as I mentioned earlier, is going to get you out of a lot of trouble. Yeah, like I said in, in the video, I'll, I'll be able to move right with it, stay behind it, and it's going to roll up, but it's not going to check and be uncontrollable. I, I can work with this one um, in certain conditions, and um, actually, personally, I like this one for more of a house shot um, when I can slide. <laughs> I, I've, I've thrown this one a couple of times already, and as long as I can stay behind it and stay consistent with my release and speed, it's it's a nice motion. Um, it's not overreactive on the right line, but yet it's um, it's not something that I have to change balls as as quick. It it will take moving a little bit better than. You know, some of the balls, it, it reads out real quick. I'm seeing this one. If you run the same layout on this one, the volatility torque and the uh, uh, the Honey Badger Revival, I can, see, I can see putting the same line on this with the other two, and you've got a good combination on your middle and your back lane read. Yeah. Well, the, the volatility torque and this ball have uh, pretty close numbers. Um, I will be getting another revival and I'll, you know, put, a, put a similar drill on it. Well, I'll put a pin down on, <laughs> on a revival too, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> uh, the two inch pin, uh, as you said, uh, nice control. I'm liking the three inch, uh, the three inch pin, you know, just a little bit further away. Uh, I think it's a good layout, especially for you with your hand and the way you get the side of it. I think, uh, I think personally you need to throw some more shorter pin equipment to kind of keep you out of trouble, but then when you go to this one, you can move a whole zone, zone and a half, and open up a whole new game. Right. That is the afterburner on the uh, purple black and the blue, is that purple black and blue black, is that how you're saying it? Purple and blue. There you go. Afterburner. That's James. I'm Ryan. See ya.